so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, uh, Taurus, I'm just going to go ahead and just pull whatever comes out. That's what we're going to be discussing today. Um, yeah, let's get into it. This is for Taurus. All right, two came out. I don't know what it is because it's facing down. I'm just going to go ahead and make a judgment call and take it. All right. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to get this many, but I'm going to do it. Wow. Romance is in the air, Taurus. You're going to be feeling in such a romantic state, feeling so romantic. And this is really good for those who don't have anybody right now. That means it's coming in here for you. But, you know, maybe some of you guys are talking to somebody. You're going to be feeling very, mm, I don't know, giddy. That's the first word that I heard. Very giddy. Just in that like dream, dreamlike state, daydreaming about someone. All right. Okay. The two that came out, look at this romance again. You got new job here. So part of your celebration could be coming from a new job, but man, your reading looks amazing. You've been through some things. We've talked about that, right, on previous reads. Look at your reading. I see a lot of love. Not, well, I see a lot of wine and dining. I see excitement here. Part of this new job or career is going to bring in, a, you know, wealth for you. This is not surprising. We've talked about this. You could also be dating someone who's wealthy. Even here, it says a change. This thing will not always be this way. Change is coming. So perfect, perfect way to for your heading here. These two came out. Unclear thinking and fears and worry. Yep, makes sense. So this came out here. These are the two cards that came out and flipped, right? And I only need this amount, these amount of cards. But it says things will not only always be this way. Some of you guys, there's, you know, there's an uncertainty about your life, about money, about your life in general, about love. You have a lot of fears. You have a lot of worries. There's tense situation, maybe arguments, that type of thing. And this is your heading. Change is coming. Change for the better. Absolutely. Wow. Let's go ahead. Let's get into it. This is going to be for Taurus. I love this for you, Taurus. I see that you're going to be traveling. You could be traveling for some type of romance. <clears throat> this is for Taurus. Okay, it's taking forever for these cards to pop out. Let's see. Someone is going to declare their love to you, or someone is writing, or maybe you want to declare your love to someone. Okay. Yeah, I see, I see that there's something dealing with travel. But anyway, here it says weary, exhausted, tired. Some of you guys are stuck in the past for some of you. Old car, something there's a, a wear and tear. That's why change is needed. That's really why change is needed. Okay. Yeah. Because here it talks about feeling hopeless, feeling powerless about something in general, money or love. And all of that is changing for you for the better. And it says it's time and it will be changing pretty soon. Wow. Let's go ahead. Let's get one card here from this Oracle. Some of you do need to get some repairs on your car. So maybe you don't have enough money. And that's the reason why, you know, you, you haven't been able to get any repairs on your vehicle. But it looks, it looks like there's going to be something new with your job that's going to give you enough finances, enough money for you to get some things done around the house, repairs when it comes down to your car. OK, because right now you're just like, I don't know what to do. OK, that's what I'm saying. This is for Taurus. One car here for Taurus. says, be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. Hmm. Yeah, you got a trumpet. 
there's something that you need to tell people or something that you need to express. Communication. I see, I see heavy communication here. Now, this could be in a love situation, but this is also dealing with your working career. Some of you guys are mentors or some of you are going to be, that's part of your life's purpose is to help people, guide people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Give me one second. Let me take this pot. I forgot I had a pot on. Give me one second. I'm like, you know what? I might as well just put my food on. <clears throat> okay. So I do see here that there is definitely something that you guys need to express or you want someone to express something. It could be expressing your feelings, but I do see there's something you need to express something that's weighing heavy on your heart. You see this person is grabbing their heart and it's a little bit next to the throat chakra. Plus go ahead. This is for Taurus. Ooh, the lover's card tried to come out. I see, I mean, when it comes down to love, that is so strong in your reading. Queen of Wands, I feel like you're missing somebody. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like you're missing somebody here. There's been a lot of challenges and problems with relationships. But there's somebody that you really want, someone that you're really sweet on, someone that your heart is like yearning for, you're hoping for someone in particular here. Someone that gave you so much joy. That is, you know, that's what I'm saying. For some of you, this person gave you joy. Just talking to them gave you joy. Seeing them gave you joy. <laughs> you may feel like no one, no one can take this person's place. But I do see that there is someone coming in here. I don't know who it is, but that's what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going. I see heavy on communication. I am definitely seeing that. Let's get it. This is for Taurus. Very sexual card here with the Queen of Wands. Oh, there's a breakthrough coming. Unexpected communication. Oh my gosh. I see clarity here. It's like an epiphany moment. The trumpet sounding off. Something is happening here with you. The spiritual communication and actual communication as well. But I mean, something is really happening. I can't wait till I clarify that. Wow. I also see that there could be someone outside of a connection that's communicating with the spouse or communicating with your partner, like trying to cause problems and disturbance here. But I'm telling you right now, listen, there is major changes even to your appearance. But this is spiritual. This is so spiritual. Something that you are starting to realize about love and relationships here, Taurus. And you're releasing something, releasing someone as well. Right, especially if it's been multiple of lovers. I got the nine of swords. Yeah, speaking of which, these two came out together. So I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna make these two. These two came out together. I just said multiple lovers and the seven of cups came out. There's you know, you're separated from someone. There's other people involved in your relationship, there's problems here. But I'm telling you right now, you're gonna that that uh ace of swords is clarity. Remember, I saw that in the beginning of the reading where it talked about that uncertainty, unclear thinking, not know what direction you want to go in. And that ace of swords is clarity. You're gonna know exactly what direction you need to go in. I see breakthroughs with money, breakthroughs with your health. I see breakthroughs in general. Like this is amazing. But these two came out together, so I'm gonna leave this just like this. I see that for some of you, you could be dealing with someone who is in construction or they do some type of con construction work. You see that anxiety and fear that we saw as well with the first two cards that fell flat? A lot of confusion. Someone that that is around you or someone you're interested in also is confused about the relationship or confused about what to do. Let's go ahead. This is for Taurus. 
Wow. Turn of events here with the Wheel of Fortune, needing to make a decision with the Two of Pentacles. I see you making a decision. I see that you're going to know exactly what you need to do. There is someone that you know, possibly, because of that tower and that communication card, where you're going to be receiving some communication from someone that you know. It could be a past person. I feel like maybe you want someone from the past or someone from your past can come up in here, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like you could be separated right now. There is, you could, you could be in a connection and wanting someone from the past or your person could be in a connection and wanting you. Okay. You see what I'm saying? However that works, but that's what I'm seeing. Wow. Now let's go ahead. Let's clarify that queen of wands. Let's see what's coming out here for you. Wow. This is for Taurus. Nine of Pentacles, nines everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we definitely see that there is a, a spiritual aspect to this, right? Your wisdom, being smart about the decisions you make, that type of stuff. I also believe for some of you, you could be dealing with someone who is of a different culture. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you could be going back to school, okay? I mean, it could be going back to school, higher education, that type of thing. And again, I feel like there is a philosophizing thing. This is exactly why it says something about people can learn from you. Okay. Some type of social relation skills or something like that. But your money looks amazing. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's single energy, but sexy. A lot of people are wanting you. <clears throat> Let's get this tower. I am so curious about this tower. Two of wands. This is which you, you're going to know what direction to go in. Perfect. And with who? Here with the lover's card, if this has anything to do with a relationship, it's like, that's what I need to do. I need to go there. This is who I need to be with. So for you, if you have to let someone go, you will. If you need to be, you know, go in a certain direction, that's what you're going to do. And I also see a breakthrough, some sudden money coming in here for you. That's why that wealth card is there, wealth, because there's some money coming in here unexpectedly for you. It could be, it could be through family. Okay. Maybe something dealing with your siblings. Some of you guys are waiting for some money dealing with your siblings. I'm not sure, but it could have something to do with siblings here. Let's go ahead. Let's get this. Seven of Cups and Nine of Swords. I just wanted to get one. Yeah, somebody from your past miss you and you miss them. Y'all, there's some mutual energy here where someone wants to come in here with the Six of Swords. Someone wants to make peace. That's what I'm seeing. Absolutely. Someone is having a lot of anxiety about money. Don't worry, your money is going to get better. Some of you guys are having a lot of anxiety about that. Let's get the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, your money. I mean, it's like you're destined to have, you know, things being given to you and stuff like that. <laughs> there is someone that cannot let you go here with the devil card at the bottom of the deck. It's like you're waiting for you're waiting on someone from your past. A lot of you, not all of you, please, not all of you, but I'm telling you, there's a few of you who are waiting for someone from your past. You're missing somebody. Let's get another one for this Wheel of Fortune. There is there is a connection here. There's a block. It's like you can't get to them. Here it is. Someone from your past. Knight of Wands who's still stuck. Yep, they're, they're hanging on to you here with the hangman, trying to make something right here with you with the justice card at the bottom of the deck. Either you are trying to make something right or they're wanting to make something right with you. But I, I definitely see that someone from your past is going to come back in here because they're hanging on to you and they want to make something right. You want to make something right with someone from your past. This Knight of Wands um, energy, this, there could be some type of age difference. Okay, and there's some change. Someone has to make a decision, though, about... You know, if they want to be with it, like, let's say someone come back in and they're very and they're like really laying it on th thick and really trying to show you that they change. You're going to have to figure out if this is worth even exploring. OK, but I do see that there is some change here. OK, but this could be a closure thing as well. Like, even though the person is 
you know, coming back in, it doesn't mean that you're going to be with this person forever. This could be a closure thing, but it's time for things to start happening. You're going to start seeing it. Okay. But this is what I have for you here, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you soon. Bye, Taurus.